What's up traders, it's Chris here. In today's video, I'm gonna talk with you about how you can trade stocks with a small account. Now to make sure we're all on the same page, when I talk about a small account, I'm talking about any account that is below the PDT rule or below $25,000. Now for those of you that are not familiar with the PDT rule, that's the FINRA regulation that says, hey, if you're below $25,000, you can only make three day trades within a five day rolling period. So if you have an account size less than $25,000 and are subject to the PDT rule, then I'm talking about you in this particular video. Now, if you wanna learn how to grow your account really fast and one of the fastest ways possible trading stocks, then watch this video. Video, this video is for you. So I'm going to share with you five tips on how you can trade stocks with a small account and grow it really fast. Tip number one, long only trades. The reason being is that if you're trading on a margin account, when you, if you're subject to the PDT rule, which you are, since you're in this small account category, you can only do three day trades every five rolling days. So that means you need to take advantage of some swing trades and hold positions overnight. But when you short certain stocks, and again, certain stocks are not even available to short. So when you short certain stocks, you have higher margin requirements than if you long certain stocks. So to avoid the extra margin requirements, you know, you really have to use all your capital to the best of your abilities, the smaller your account is. Margin requirements and all these other things are very, very important. So capital appreciation and capital usage is absolutely critical. So by avoiding shorting stocks and getting the maximum leverage and you're getting the least amount of margin used to trade stocks. So we're gonna use long only methods to grow your small trading account. Tip number two, you're gonna trade anything from the nano, micro and small cap and mid cap stocks. And the reason being that you wanna trade from the penny all the way up to the mid caps is, is that by having smaller price stocks, you can buy more shares. Now there are tons of nano, micro, small cap, and mid cap stocks that are moving one, two, and three dollars in a particular session. If you were to try and buy 100 shares of Amazon, that's gonna cost you a lot of capital. But for a two, three, or five dollar stock, that's only a few hundred dollars in margin. And for every dollar that stock appreciates for those 100 shares, you're going to make $100. So if the stock moves two, three dollars in a single day and you have 100 shares on that, you can make two or $300 fast. And some of these stocks will do this within a couple hours. Sometimes they'll even move a couple dollars within the opening drive. So by trading these smaller stocks, these smaller price stocks, you can buy more shares and you can appreciate your account faster. Now, the other two advantages that trading these smaller price stocks have is one, they have more volatility. There are certain small cap stocks that can move five, 10, 20% in a given day. Amazon is not gonna move 20% in any given day. It would tip maybe once in a great while, but it's not gonna happen often, whereas small caps are doing that on a regular basis. So you can take advantage of volatility. And remember, volatility is just a tool. It means that the market moves faster than it normally would a big cap or a large cap stock. So by having greater volatility, you have a larger directional push and that allows you to capture larger moves in one particular direction. That is an advantage. The other major advantage that's often not talked about is that the higher price stocks that you go to the larger players you are playing against. You're trading against more seasoned traders that have more capital than you. And so by trading in the smaller cap region or the mid cap region, you're trading against less seasoned players, a lot of bag holders, and what they call quote unquote, the dumb money. So you wanna trade against the weakest competition possible. So I recommend by doing that, trading the nano, micro, small cap, and mid cap stocks only. Now, another way to give yourself an advantage by smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel. That really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm, tells them you like our videos. So if you're appreciating the video this far, and learning something, smash that like button. We really appreciate it. Okay, tip number three is that you're going to be looking for swing trades. And I'm gonna tell you kind of the structure you're looking for, the price section context. I'm gonna share with you a live trade that I'd share with my members in the stock trading course. And so this is a trade that I took. I recommend to my traders say, hey, I'm long such and such stock at this particular price. Here's what I'm looking for. And so these kind of large swings, they happen in these kind of smaller mid cap stocks because when stocks have a very big green day on high volume, maybe a positive news catalyst, they tend to go for multi-day runners. And since you're limited to three day trades every five days, how do you make more trades? You have to swing trade. That means holding positions overnight. And so by trading these smaller mid cap stocks that are gonna move 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%, you can capture very large moves in a short period of time and make really big profits on these trades here. So what I'm generally looking for is a stock in the nano cap all the way up to mid cap range. I'm looking for something that's kind of within a corrective structure for a while. What that does is that really kind of contains the price action. And so when we have, you know, not many people are participating in these corrective structures. So when we have a big breakout on volume with trend, that tends to lead to these MDRs, multi-day runners. Again, stocks very rarely, when they have these big volume breakouts, just kind of climb up and fall back down. So when they do have them and they're supported by the right price action context and volume, then there's a good chance that that's going to go for a big run. And this is what we did here. You can tell we bought 
bought on this breakout here at 1051 and we exit at 1559. That is a $5.08 move. The stock appreciated 50% in a matter of days and we captured the lion's share of that entire move. Now, if you were trading 100 shares on that, you would have made $500 in a matter of what, four or five days? So this is the power of trading these small cap and mid cap stocks. Amazon's not gonna move 50% in five days, but the small caps one will, and they allow you to grow your account fast. Here's another example of live trade that I share with my members, XME. So we've been talking about this. We've been bullish on commodities for a while, particularly metals. And so you can kind of see we have this double top here, double bottom. So you get this nice corrective structure here. Then we have a counter trend false break, which is immediately bought back up very aggressively. And it kind of gets back into the corrective structure. Then it forms like a mini breakout structure. And then it breaks out on this particular day. So we get long at 2032, which is right on the breakout here. And then we hold it for several days and it just continues to appreciate, continues to appreciate. We've even added on to the position at 2173. Now at the time I took the screenshot 2226. So you're talking about $2 on my original position, another 50 cents on this other position, I'm capturing this multi day runner, this multi day swing, trying to capture a good 10, 20, 30% move. And so by engaging these swing trades that you know, tend to move for days and days and days, you get these really large profitable trades that build up your account fast. So tip number three is to swing trade these multi day runners when you spot the conditions for them. Okay, tip number four is the VWAP filter. So generally VWAP, volume weighted average price indicator, it's an important stock indicator that you have to trade with. If you're trading stocks, you have to trade with VWAP. For those of you not familiar with VWAP, I have an entire video on how to trade stocks with VWAP. Check out the link in the description below. But VWAP generally as a whole is generally considered a day trading indicator. However, there is a version called anchored VWAP that you can use on higher time frames. And so if you want to, you in trading view, you go into the VWAP settings here. So you go to VWAP, click on the little settings button, and you'll see this thing pop up here. Now you see this anchor period, this is the anchored VWAP. And so, you know, when I'm trading intraday, my one minute, three minute, five minute charts, I will anchor it to the session. That's your traditional VWAP. However, I've noticed over time that when you look at the one hour charts, if you have a weekly VWAP, which is what you anchor it to here, and it'll change it to that, then what I've noticed is that it kind of acts kind of like a moving average in dynamic support and resistance. And so what I do is I'm looking for these swing trades, I want them to be above VWAP. Ideal situation is I kind of have this little VWAP carry like this. You know, that means that the market is just buying, 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 buying. And I get this volume breakout, you know, and it's supported by VWAP. If it's above VWAP and it's been supported by VWAP, that is a really good filter to have. So the one hour chart with the weekly anchor period often acts as a great filter. Since we're trading long only, we need the market to be at VWAP or above VWAP. That's generally a very bullish sign. So here was where was our first trade, 2032 on XME that we had showed in the prior chart. And then here's where we added on 2173. And again, what do you see? The market is above VWAP. So the filter's in play for this nice swing trade that I'm gonna take. This VWAP filter is awesome often one of my best ways to kind of filter out these nice swing trades. It just kind of adds this extra material and support to my trade idea that the market is really the price action and the order flow is really supporting a continuation of this bullish move. So tip number four is the VWAP filter. Okay, tip number five is that you should also day trade. Remember, you do get three day trades every five business days. So you might as well maximize that and use all three of those day trades. Remember day trading is just an opportunity to profit in and out within the same day. And so by profiting within the same day, you're not using as much capital by holding it overnight. You've used your capital margin, you got in the trade, you got out and profited. Now the capital is back in your account for another trade. And so that's why you wanna take advantage of both day trading and swing trading because you can use it with the day trades. You can cycle your capital in out really fast, capture some really quick profits, and then you can use that capital for other swing trades once you've maxed out your three day trades for that five day period. So here's a live trade that we had done on MGNX we had shared this with our members in the stock trading course. We have bought at 15.73 and we gotten out at 18.41. So it's about a $2.70 move. Keep in mind, this is a one hour chart. So we got it in and out within two hours. Now, if you were trading hundred shares, that's $270 in two hours. Not bad for a small account, you know, in terms of if you make $270 in a small account, $1,000, $2,000 account, that's pretty good money. That's, you know, about a 10% gain within two hours. This is why you want to take advantage of day trades because when you get these situations, 
solutions, you can capture really quick profits really fast. Now to give you four easy filters to remember to look for for day trades and filters that I use to find my good day trading setups, I'm gonna list these four here. So the first one is you wanna look for a strong gapper. TradingView has a great filter in it and we have a whole video on TradingView which I'll leave a link in below, but you can filter out in your stock trainer for gappers. You can set the percent, volume, all these requirements. And so I generally look for stocks that gap three to 5% right at the market open. And that kind of tells me, hey, there's a big burst of volume. There was a lot of activity going on in pre-market. This is a stock that a lot of people are participating in and has a chance to go for a big runner that particular day. So the first filter is looking for a strong gapping stock. The second filter is stocks that are supported by the higher time frame context. So they're currently in a bull trend. You can use that VWAP filter. They're above VWAP at that particular time as this one was. And so, you know, if it's in a bull trend or it has a nice impulsive corrective series, then, you know, the stock, the overall price section order flow is already moving in that direction. That means the market is supporting that particular long play through the price action context. The third filter you want to look for is making sure the stock's in play. And how do you make sure stock's in play? By looking at volume. So you want a stock that has strong volume on the open. So if a stock normally has 1 million shares and the market's only been open for an hour and it's already at 600,000 shares, well, then the first hour of the day, it's already got 60% of the normal daily volume. By having high volume that tells you a lot of traders are participating in that stock means a lot of traders are wanting that stock to move. That generally means the stock is in play. High volume means the stock's in play and that just creates more opportunities for the stock to move. The more it moves, the more profit you can make on that one. So looking for stocks that are in play through high volume. And then the fourth filter, this is not a necessity, but it's kind of an extra boost, is looking for a stock that has a positive catalyst. Maybe it has an earnings surprise. Maybe it's looking for really negative earnings and it was positive. Or maybe you're looking for negative and it's less negative than it, they actually expected. Or it was a really surprise to the top side. Earnings surprises are great. Also, if there's some sort of new business deal, hey, there's a new pharma drug that's being tested for coronavirus, or they've signed a deal with a particular offering that's gonna bring this you know, service to multiple homes, millions of homes. Any sort of positive news catalyst that's it's gonna attract more investors to that stock and wanna be involved in that stock. It's kind of like a little bonus because positive new catalysts bring in Momo traders, momentum traders for that particular day. And so the better the news catalyst, the more traders it's gonna bring in, the greater the chance that stock is gonna move. So positive news catalyst is kind of like that little cherry on top. If you have all the other filters and you have a positive news catalyst, it tends to create more volume, really just boost the stock and move further. And so those are the five tips on how to trade stocks with a small account. Now, the reason why I give you these five tips is really due to one major goal. Because you have a small account, you have limitations. There's only so many trades you can take. There's only so many shares you can buy. There's only so many day trades you can take within a five day period. So your first goal with a small account should be to get past that first hurdle to grow your account fast by getting past that $25,000 mark. Once you get to that level, you can not only make an unlimited amount of day trades, which also means multiple opportunities to make money every single day, but you have enough margin in play at that point to make multiple trades, day trades, swing trades, option trades. You know, I did a whole video on how to use options to generate income. See the link below in that. But you know, once you're able to kind of use this multiple combination for income, options with day trades, with swing trades, now you have all these different methodologies making money Money for you on a daily and weekly basis. And that just allows you to grow your account faster. It gives you more shares, it gives you more opportunities to make money, and it removes that restriction on the amount of day trades you can make. If a stock is really moving, you don't wanna be limited to three trades that day. You wanna just keep hammering that stock, getting in and getting out, capturing these fast moves. By taking multiple trades a day, it's kind of like the poker player playing more hands. Online poker players try and trade as many tables as possible as they can while keeping their edge. If they have an edge with one table, well, you might as well try two tables because that gives you twice the edge. And if you can maintain that through four tables, then you can have four times the edge. It's the same with day trading. The more trades you make, the more opportunities you have to increase your account and make money trading. And that's the goal capital appreciation fast. So your first goal is to get above that $25,000 limit. Once you do that, then the kind of restrictions are off. It just gives you so many more options to grow your account. So this is your five tips on how to trade stocks with a small account. With that being said, did you like this video? Did you learn something from it? If so, smash the like button, subscribe to our channel and sign up for notifications anytime we make a new post, announce an upcoming webinar or trade ideas, sign up for notifications that'll let you know instantaneously anytime we make a new post. And by doing all that, 
and by subscribing to the channel and liking our video and leaving comments below, it really is a direct communication with YouTube saying, hey, YouTube, this video is valuable. We found it useful. We found good information. In it. it helps us with our trading. And if it helps you, then by doing that, it tells YouTube, hey, this account is producing good videos and we should give it higher rankings. And that really helps us. You know, you may look like I'm the only person doing the video, but I actually have a team of people helping me make these videos. I don't have animation skills and I don't have the time to do that. I have enough time to record a few videos per week. The rest of the time I'm trading multiple hours a day and then I'm running the businesses on the side. So, you know, my team, we have a large team involved in making these videos every single day. And, you know, you kind of giving us that love, you know, really is kind of a sign back to us. Hey, keep making these videos. Really appreciate it. And it's just really kind of a thanks to our team and all the hard work that they do. So please make sure to do that. Also, if you have upcoming videos that you would like to see videos on or upcoming topics or things about stock trading, let us know in the comments below and also let us know what you thought about this video. So that being said, stay green, stay positive. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.